All right, so it's been about three weeks since we had our brew day for our Chinook Cock Rye IPA. And so today is a step where we're gonna do our dry hopping. So I have one more ounce of Chinook Coley, you know, hops. And we're really just gonna dry hop it. It's a really basic thing. Uh, the hops are kind of antibacterial on their own, so I don't have to do too much as far as sanitizing. Uh, so what I'm actually gonna do is just uh, go through the process of opening the beer and uh, being careful that I open the right beer because I actually have another batch of a porter, which we're doing something else later too. Um, it's a little overkill. Um, so what I usually do is I actually just sanitize the surrounding area of the lid. It might be excessive, but I just do that anyway. Just because for me, maybe, I don't know, maybe there's some little dust thing or buggies and it's just something I do. <laughs> Also, you probably want to remove your airlock um, kind of before you do this, just so liquid doesn't get all sent into the beer while you're kind of lifting it and turning it upside down and stuff like that. So this is kind of optional but useful. When I bought all this gear off Northern Brewer, I just got the um, kind of the bucket tool. It makes it a little easier to get these uh, lids off. So basically, I haven't looked at this beer since we had our brew day, but I'm hoping that it looks good. So you just kind of use the tool to carefully you know, put the seal on that lid and then kind of carefully just get that out of the way. Mm, there's some layer of carbon dioxide there which I hope stays intact so basically I just want to not shake it too much. And uh, basically to dry hop this uh, IPA I'm literally just going to open the bag. Honestly, I just sprinkle them into the batch of beer, um, literally just like that. I'm trying to go kind of gentle, if that makes sense, not to shake it up too much. And then I'm just going to, oh, there's another pop in there. Let me get that out. And literally, I'm just going to cover it up again. three-piece airlock, I start over with this. Make sure it's nice and sanitized. I put the empty airlock right back in here, about halfway. Hudson is going to inspect the beer to make sure we're doing everything right. <laughs> and then what I do here, Pour a little bit of uh, more of that sanitizer in there. And just cover that up again. Without getting any liquid in the beer. That's it. So that will sit for a week, give or take. Uh, maybe a week and a half. And then we will have our bottling bed. So that will be fun. <laughs> So now I'll just carefully put this back into the corner of our kitchen, uh, which is where it's been sitting for about three weeks. <laughs> 